Hey everyone, so today I just ordered this, um, I guess probably about 10, 12 days ago, and um, this is something that I've always wanted to get. Um, it's uh, it, just this open actually. I'll do this. Here we go. As you can see, it's a Baofeng. Uh, Baofeng VHF UHF radio. Um, amateur. I'll be getting my amateur license here pretty quick. Um, but this particular model is the BFF8 Plus, I believe. Um, we're going to get in the box here. There we go. got the radio and as you can see it is not a very big radio I'm actually quite small but uh, I knew it was kind of small there's a couple of guys that I know have this and uh, they say it works really well it's not a real expensive unit I got it off of actually uh, I think it was bail things came out of Japan anyway but anyway here's the model uh, so that is the unit itself um, there's lots of reviews on these online and stuff. They are quite durable, but they're not waterproof. They're not crush proof. <laughs> I saw some videos yesterday on it. Um, I guess from what I understand, I'm new to this, uh, UHF VHF, um, radio. Um, like I said, I'll be getting my amateur ham, ham license here pretty quick. Um, but this is a reversed, um, antenna in that respect so it's not I guess the same as everybody else and a lot of the equipment from these units throughout the bow things do not some work some don't some work better than others some you have to make some adjustments things of that sort but anyway let's uh, keep going here so we've got a battery and this one here is an 18 milliamp hour 7.4 volts you can see there, that's what I got with that. And then in the box, um, got your charger, got a hands free piece, antenna, lanyard, belt clip, and charging base. So that is everything that comes with it. Um, yeah, so I mean, what we can do, uh, actually what we'll do is we'll get this antenna. Um, this, I guess, from what I understand, is better than the short stubby antenna that does typically come with this. Um, yeah, so you can see there, there's your connection. So anyway, we'll just get this on. Battery in it. Let's see what we got. Frequency mode. No, oh, it actually comes out in English to start, which is quite odd. Uh, a lot of them, because they come straight out of Japan or China, they actually have uh, the uh, channel mode. The uh, Chinese or whatnot. Uh, voice on it but I'll be getting rid of that voice and things of that sort but I mean that is the the radio um, it's a nice little unit this is what I'm gonna start with once I get my license I'll be well I'm gonna learn how to use it first like uh, go through the menu um, things of that sort and just learn how to use it before I actually do that um, I think I'm gonna have to get a programming cable with it as well um, because it doesn't come with one, or I think I might have a buddy that has one that I'll uh, go on the uh, Baofeng website and just program, you know, what I all the settings in it instead of going through the menu and things of that sort. But it would be good to know um, going through the menu on how to do absolutely everything. Um, you know, obviously the manual. I'm not sure. Uh, 
Yeah, it looks like uh, it looks like it's got pretty much everything what you're gonna need to run it. I see there's a few tables here in the back to uh, get it programmed to run a uh, one of those um, walkie-talkies that you can pick up in uh, a Canadian Tire or whatever the case might be. There's a table for that. So anyway, yeah. Um, anyway, that is the unit I got. As you can see, it is not very big, like I said at all. There's my hand. I don't have really big hands. Um, but uh, anyway, that's the unit itself. Looking forward to using this thing, uh, getting my license and using it out on the trail. Um, just because I've, I've got a CB in my Jeep now, and it's, it's good. Um, I've got a Bearcat 880. I really like the unit, um, but the only thing is, uh, you know, there's so many guys out there that just have inexpensive uh, CBs, and it's hard to talk to them, and you may only be, you know, two, three hundred feet away, and uh, this is a very cheap alternative to get into, um, you know, the UHF. It seems that these, the you know, this one will have a distance of about six miles, which is just about 10 kilometers. So, yeah. Anyway, I uh, hope you liked the video, and uh, sh I will be having more videos on this, using it, things of that sort. Um, you know, and then any off road trips that we do, um, there'll be a couple of guys that have these now, so we'll be doing. We'll be using these and just seeing how they work and whatnot. But anyway, um, if you're new to the channel, um, please subscribe. If uh, if you like this, please give me a thumbs up. And uh, I hope everybody has a great day. Thanks for watching.